Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Mikey here with my little sister Mary. Hanging in here, uh, we're making a video about the P0606 code. Um, we're going to tell you a little bit about it, about um, what it is, what causes it, and how to fix it. So, um, what it is, is basically there's a problem with your PCL. Uh, it's not getting, telling the engine what it needs to do, and it can, it's uh, usually uh, manifested by um, there's still power getting to your car. Um, for me, like when you press the push to start, uh, lights come on everything, but the engine refuses to start. Um, I plugged in a diagnostic tool and it came up with this code. Because um, normally when that happens, you're going to think, my battery's dead. Uh, which, uh, to check that, it's pretty easy. You get a multimeter and you check and your battery should be around 12 volts or so. Um, in which case, your battery's good, so you're having another problem somewhere, um, which you should be able to tell by the fact that you're getting power to the rest of your car. Uh, for me, like my stereo came on, my uh, radar detector came on, all that. Um, okay, so it can be caused by a bad ECM, in which case you need to probably just get a new one, um, which you can get them online. Uh, I wouldn't go to the dealership, they're going to rip you off, but uh, new, they're generally going to run somewhere around $800 to $1,000. Uh, but you can't get them used. Uh, you can find them on eBay used. I, I don't know why this would be a problem. I didn't do enough research into it. Um, I looked and you can just get them used and then take them to the dealership and have them reprogram for your car. should be pretty simple. Um, the second thing is that the wires are broken, corroded, afraid. Uh, check the connections. Be sure the wires are didn't come loose, get ripped out somehow, get damaged, cut, torn, whatever. Um, that should be pretty easy to check because uh, the ECM is right here, uh, pretty visible. It's next to the battery and the intake, and you can just follow the wires. Uh, one of the connections goes to the engine block, the other one goes to the intake, so that's two connections that needs to go to. So you just follow the wire in those two places. Um, so check the wires. Um, third problem uh, is that it just needs a reset. Uh, it can be caused by, in my case, uh, I was running a chip on it and it somehow screwed it up. I still don't understand exactly how because I've been running the chip for a while. Um, something happened and the ECM decided it didn't like that anymore so I took the chip out and did a hard reset. So for this particular fix, if you are running a chip and you're running the P0606, I would say that's probably what's going on. Your chip is uh, chip tune, whatever you're running, is somehow uh, screwing up the PCM. And uh, some people say you actually need to flash it and get it reset. I, I guess you'd have to take it to the dealership to do that. I really don't know. Um, but I would try the easy fix first, just reset it. And to do this, what I did to fix it um, is I took off the positive and negative battery terminals, disconnected it, and I also disconnected the ECM, which uh, is pretty simple. You take the cap off the top right here. Uh, there's a couple little latches, it's two little sections, you take the little latches up and then pull the cap off the top. Um, and then once you do that, you wait 20 to 30 minutes so that the, all the capacitors can fully drain and it'll be a full reset. Um, once you do that, you reconnect the ECM, reconnect the positive and negative battery terminals, and uh, give it a couple seconds. I guess I did it right away and when I attempted to start it, hit the push to start once, hit it twice, and it didn't start until the third time. But it did start, so it fixed the problem. And um, I've been running it for a couple days now. I haven't had the problem since. However, I haven't reconnected the tune, so I'm not really sure if I want to reconnect the tune or not, if it's going to recreate this problem. I guess that is yet to be seen. Um, anyway, but those are the three main causes of the P0606. It is what the P0606 is, and um, as far as I can tell, those are the three solutions to those three problems, the P0606. Um, hope this was an informative video. Hope you uh, helped you guys out. Hopefully it gets you up, back up and running if you did run into this error code. Um, and uh, if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Please don't remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching.